Plus, President Obama with a message for Republicans. The thing is, he apparently didn't think any Republicans were listening. Do you want to repeal health care? Go at it. We'll have that debate. But you're not going to be able to do that by nickel and dime and me in the budget. You think we're stupid? And that's not all. Hear what else the president had to say on that open mic. We're live at the White House next. Ever wonder what President Obama really thinks of Republicans? We're getting an idea thanks to an open microphone. The president apparently didn't realize it was still on after a fundraiser last night in Chicago, so he kept right on talking to a group of campaign donors about his recent negotiations with GOP leaders on that deal to prevent a government shutdown. Remember, Republicans tried to attach a rider to the bill to cut funding for the president's health care overhaul. Here's how he apparently responded. Do you want to repeal health care? Go at it. We'll have that debate. But you're not going to be able to do that by nickel and dime and me in the budget. You think we're stupid? Put it in a separate bill. We'll call it up. And if you think you can overturn my veto, try it. But don't try to, to uh, sneak this through. The president also talking about next year's budget and the congressman who came up with the Republican plan. Mike Emanuel live at the White House now. What else did he have to say, Mike? Well, it was interesting, John. Reporters were esco escorted out of the room, but the audio continued feeding back here to the White House where a reporter was rolling on the president's remarks, and he teed off on a recent rival, Congressman Paul Ryan, the House Republican budget chairman. Here's what the president had to say about Congressman Ryan. When Paul Ryan says his priority is to make sure that we're, you know, I mean, he's just being America's accountant and, you know, trying to, you know, be responsible. I mean, this, this is the same guy who voted for two wars that were unpaid for, voted for the Bush tax cuts that were unpaid for. Congressman Ryan says his concern is leaders in Washington are more worried about the next election than the next generation. John? So now that they know the mics are on, what's the White House saying about this? Well, there was not an apology of any sort. It was more a focus about uh, the mishap that led to this audio getting out. White House spokesman Jay Carney telling reporters today, quote, it was a miscommunication, nothing more than that. But we've, it's not a problem, not an issue. So no apology, definitely downplaying it, John. And the president is 